former Leicester City footballer. Um, your take on what it's been like to witness the tragic events surrounding Leicester and, and their owner over the course of the past few days? Um, yeah, obviously incredibly sad what we saw. Um, horrific pictures that have come out of Leicester and uh, yeah, it's such a tragedy and just on behalf of myself and everyone here at Sheffield United we'd like to offer our condolences and our thoughts and prayers with everyone with Leicester City and, and the City of Leicester. Can you uh, give an insight as to what, how Leicester will deal with this as a football club to, to, to be involved in this? I'm, I'm not sure how they're going to deal with it, but um, yeah, it's like I said, the uh, absolute tragedy what, what happened over there. And uh, I didn't know the chairman or his staff personally, but I know he, he was very highly thought of. He'd done uh, incredible amounts of work, not just uh, with the football club, but in and around the city. Uh, he's going to be sorely missed, and uh, hopefully, in time, Leicester City can heal and Leicester as a city can, can flourish again. It's perhaps an indication as to the reaction to what's happened of the, the football family, the good side of what football does in circumstances such as this. Tragic though they are. Of course, yeah. I think you only need to look at social media and um, various outlets in the media of, of uh, clubs and players and, and everyone, fans, uh, standing up and um, offering their support and condolences, like I say. So, um, yeah, it's... It's great to see everyone standing together and, and um, you know trying to help Leicester City through this tough uh, tough period. Sorry, and uh, hopefully, like I say, they can in time heal.